Welcome back, everyone, to more Gateway to the Savage Frontier. So I did some grinding today, as you will probably have noticed right away. Um, kind of good and bad. Good in the sense that uh, we can smash some hill giants now, and we, we have some good hit points and some better Thacko. Um, bad in the sense that... Clot is already max level for the game. Um, so yeah, the, the level cap only goes to level 8 for fighters, humans, human fighters. Level 7 for human mages. Level 6 for human clerics. Um, I believe it's 7 for rangers and paladins. But it's a pretty low level cap. Uh, so I, I honestly, all I did was fight hill giants over and over for a couple hours. And everyone kept leveling. So as long as someone had a level to gain, I kept getting the thousand gold piece to train them. I was super meticulous uh, about trying to get max hit points for everybody as much as I could. I think maybe a couple people didn't get max hit points. They're off by one or two. Uh, but certainly my clerics and mages, uh, we got full hit points. Fidget could be off one or so. Uh, I believe I believe I got max for lug lug and truck. I just kept quitting and reloading. Um, yes, I know I could have easily used GBC to just max them, um, but I don't like playing like that. I like to play as if it's back in the day and those things didn't exist. Um, and I don't play with the overlay that you guys can see now. I just play with the good old screen. No GBC is involved whatsoever. Um, when I'm grinding anyways. Uh, but yeah, so here we are. Uh, same armor and everything else. I've even, I've leveled Curvish a little bit. So we'll quickly go over what everybody's at now. Uh, so Lug Lug's at level 5 with 69 hit points. Chuckle Chuckle. Trog's at level 5 with 65 hit points. Fidget is a level 4 fighter, level 5 thief. With level, uh, with 50 hit points. Uh, Clot is maxed at level 6. She's capped out, which is why you'll see her experience bar at the top is um, it's full. And Ronstock is a level 5 magic user with 30 hit points, and so is Lilith. They will be able to go up a couple more levels. And Luglug -Lug and Trog should be able to go up a few more levels. I think I believe they put some kind of handicap on the NPCs. He gains, he seems to gain experience slower. Um, but I did get him up to level five. You'll notice his Thacko is a 16, which is strange for a fighter. It should be 15, or or less. It should be 14, like my other fighters. Um, so not sure what's up with that because he also is human. But anyways. Let's finish exploring Yartar, and then I think we're going to move on to the next town, or the next city. I did go uh, make some extra money, so we do have a little bit of money in the bank here. We got 3,100 gold and 326 platinum put away. But other than that, everything is just the same as the last video, besides being a lot more powerful. Oh yeah, and of course, Ronstock and Lilith both have... A little spell I like to call Fireball Memorized. Um, you know Game Hoarder went straight for that shit. But anyways. Let's explore this side of the city. A bright multicolored banner flies over this door. On it are stitched the words Three Rivers Fest Hall. We can fight or leave. We'll fight, of course. You might as well start schwacking people. Yeah. 
Huh. Interesting they're letting you attack with him. They normally don't. Seven experience points. Oh, yes. I'm not really worried about that kind of equipment anymore. I don't think we can do much more at this area yet. The residential area. Yeah, there's not much more to do here in Yardtar. This is actually Curvis's house. If you don't take him from the party, you can get him here. I think it's time to go get a boat. The sign above the door here is carved to look like a riverboat. Painted on the side are the words Boat Rentals. I can rent you a boat for 25 gold pieces. Would you like to rent the boat and leave the shitty city? Who will pay? You shove off from the dock and prepare to set out on the river. So now we can travel along the river here and get to Nesme. You arrive by boat, the boatkeeper returns your 20 gold piece deposit. So it, it only costs five gold as long as you return the boat. If you don't return the boat and you abandon it, you lose all your monies. This building is a stable. The crest of the riders of Nesme is painted above the door. A brass plate on the wall of this building proclaims this to be the headquarters of the riders of Nesme. You talk with the captain of the riders of Nesme and record your conversation as journal entry 27. Yes, we too have heard the stories of the trolls gathering in a great army to the east in the troll moles, and now small groups of them have been seen in the ruins to the east of the city. We should be going out to drive them back. We should be scouting the moors to see what's going on. But all we know, we can find to barracks because long stresses Alarun has taken over. If we go near the city now, the crazy barbarians will start a full-scale war. Someone's been stealing horses from our stable. That can't be, because the right of Nesmet patrols this street. But I know it's true because I saw it with my own eyes. Or didn't see it, or, or them, if you know what I mean. The Harbor Master greets you pleasantly, and you record your conversation as Journal Entry 18. And they're throwing the dialogue at us. It's not my fault. The story is the same in many towns on the river. Not just here in Nesme. They can't blame me for this. No, no, they can't. The warehouses on the eastern side of the river have been beset by a plague of giant frogs, and lizard men have been festering on the herds and the stock pins to the west shore. Now the shipping companies won't stop here because of the danger. It's a load of bullshit! Could leave the city, but that doesn't seem like something we'd want to do. It appears empty. It is empty.
This building is divided into stock pens for holding sheep and cattle on their way to the market. Ah! There's lizard men hiding here. No more lizard men hiding there now. Barbarians attack. No, I don't flee. I don't flee from barbarians. Thank you. We're going to probably be able to just do quick battles for a lot of these. We're going to be a little OP for a while. Oh, fucking throwing hammers through walls now? AI having a hard time here. There you go. I don't think they taught the AI how to get around walls. Hammers and shit. Barbarians attack. <laughs> Gonna get a fucking smackdown, baby. I'm not fleeing from barbarians. No, sir. I didn't mean to cast that. Thirty six points of damage. Ouch.
A sign hanging above this door is carved in the shape of a proud and massive horse. On it are the painted words, the Tavern of the Riders. Don't go into the ruins unless you're ready to fight trolls, because there's a lot of them out there, and you are under orders not to help. And we're under orders not to help you. G. G. Minos, Captain City Guard. A proclamation posted on the wall here says, Danger, citizens of Nesme. Beware, trolls have been sighted in the ruins to the east of the town. Under gold peace reward to adventures for every troll slain. The guard greets you. If you want to haunt trolls... The gate at the end of this street leads to the ruins. But once you kill them, get out of there fast. Because they'll come back to life if you ain't careful. Well, we definitely want to go kill trolls here in a moment. Kraken spies attack! Alright, a new enemy here. Not spying on my crack anymore. Oop, I think I uh, forgot to unpause the camera here. I don't know. I had a bit of a camera faux pas here. But, anyways. We went back into the building where the Kraken spies were and found a secret door that I'll show you here. And we walked in on a priestess in her secret bedchamber. Well, her bedchamber, but it was a secret door that led to it. And no, she wasn't naked, so don't ask. She was kind of cute. You'll get to see her here in a second. But she says, I never knew that there was a secret door that led into the back of the temple like this. I'm only glad that you are our friends instead of enemies. I'm sure the people who attacked you in the outer room were going to use the secret door to enter the temple and kill us all. As sure as the market hawkers gather in the morning, they are sent to here by, bar by the barbarians, and long stresses herself. All she wants is control of the city, and she doesn't care with whom she allies herself to get it. This was the priestess of Joaquin that we surprised. And this is the secret door we went through to find her. Could go check out the weapon shop, although I, I'm doubting they're going to have anything we want. Palisade Weaponry. It's probably the same stuff we got at the other place. Pretty good on darts here. Good on arrows. Wait, you got full plate? Nope. None of that full plate. Town Hall and Esme, my prosperity visit all who pass here. You need to talk with the long stresses, Alarun, and record your conversation as Journal Entry 14. This must be the bitch everyone does not like. Long tresses, Alarun's story. Please let me welcome you to Nesme. We have just completed a very unhappy task. 
I had to seize the city by force of arms to save it from the corrupt priest of Joaquin. By necessity, I enlisted the aid of some local, well, barbarians, and I do admit that some now are out of control. Take care as you travel through our streets, for my comrades are dangerous and love to fight. Yeah, I've killed a lot of them. It's cool. They pussies. A wooded carving of a dead rat hangs by its tail above this door. The sign bolted to the wall says, We banish pest. Rats and vermin are our specialty. Tiny shop is deserted. A battered desk and chair stand at the north end of the room. This place could use a good cleaning. We bash it. The secret door gives way and you stand in a tiny anteroom. anteroom. Guttural voices are barely audible through the door to the north. You discover lizard men and orcs. Orcs is. That orc went down. Fucking Trogga just beating people to death. Still is a lot of missing going on. Book, books line both walls of this passageway. Ronstock examines a few and says, This has to be the hidden Benite shrine. These are all poems to honor Bane. Not my idea of a good bedtime story. Let's not forget we did properly align everybody here. Uh, of course, Lug Lug is chaotic good. Trog is chaotic neutral. Fidget is true neutral. Clot is chaotic good. Ronstock, chaotic evil. Lilith, neutral evil. Kravish, we don't give a fuck what you are, Kravish. Shut up. Murals on the ceiling of this passageway depict Bane standing on a mountaintop and destroying a city below with a great bolt of lightning. Let's get a little prayer going. That'll help our Thacko make us harder to hit, but make it easier for us to hit. I don't think it stacks with bless, so no, no point in using that. Uh, we can do protection from evil on, on fucking who, who knows. Let's do it on fidget. We should get more of those. Yes, we should. I don't think whatever behind this door is gonna gonna affect us much. This room isn't empty, but it's too late to try to run anyways. A battle begins, okay? Uh, Benight Clerics. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Got a fucking surprise for you. Yeah. 
That's how Fireball works in this. I don't think that was the cleric we needed, though. Could have added some more sound effects for crying out loud. A familiar face stares at you from across the room. Hey, I know you. It's Vohal from Space Quest. <laughs> God damn right, I'm going to cast that. <laughs> oh, you guys are so screwed. Yeah, whatever. Hmm, there we go. Those odd items at the end. Making me think magic. I need to get uh, Detect Magic memorized already. With his dying breath, the Banite Cleric sets fire to a sheaf of papers. Fidget rushes forward and puts them out. But only one page escapes the flames. You copy it in your journal as entry 31. The Banite Cleric's letter fragment. That you found the explanation for the gatherings of trolls and orcish armies in the north. I had suspected it was the work of the Zentarium, and if we had not discovered it in time, they might have conquered this entire region. The fools believe that it is in their cunning and their might that brings them such awesome power. Have they forgotten so quickly about the temples of Bane, and the power that even our own leaders cannot abdicate? That we, the clerics who carry out Bane's will, are the ones who have made this name of the Zentarium feared throughout the realms. I agree with your letter, and although we have never met, I feel closely bound to you. By destroying this plan before it starts, we shall ensure that never again will the Banite clerics be taken for granted in Zentil Keep. I will meet you during the festival of Mileki in the hidden temple behind your shop in Silvery Moon. We shall find the magic user from the south, who can turn the power of the Zentarium against itself. Then we will sh shall see how brilliant the Zentarium proved to be. We must not think that because we know about their plans to cross the desert, it will be simple to stop them. I am confident we will be successful within days, only because the remainder of the letter is destroyed and ashes crumble to nothingness in my hands. 
Hmm, okay. You open the door to this tiny room and record what you see as journal entry 34. Three men rush from the tiny cell, their clothes in tatters, eyes drawn from lack of food and sleep. One, sto one stooped to look down at the dead Benite, and a broad smile spread across his hollow face. Looks like you've done the job we were sent to do, he laughed unnaturally. Now we can go home and take the credit. We of the Zentarium salute you! His companions blanched as he said the forbidden word. Only others dared to use that name, never the Zentarium themselves. They cursed in hushed voices, pulled him from the room, and were instantly out of sight. We looked at each other helplessly, because we knew the Benite to be evil, we had slain him. Because we knew the Benite to be evil, we had slain him. The one man who could stop Zentarium's plan for conquest of the savage frontier. There was no choice. We had been searching for a mission. Now by accident we found one. We would have to save the Northern Realms ourselves. You turn away. Lug Lug got that money. Fuck you talking about, bitch. Now we need to redo some spells here. Oh, yeah. Just got to find out where to ID this stuff now. There we go. Plus two, ring of protection. Give that to Clot. And the chainmail is probably, oh, it's not nearly as good as the splint mail. Even the magical shit. Well, let's try something here. Maybe that's probably because of the plus two ring of protection. I don't think you can stack like that. So it's, it's taking the difference, I would imagine. So if we take that off. Yeah, so that makes sense. So let's go ahead and give this to our wizard. Or, I mean, hell, we can give it to anyone not wearing magic armor. 
give it to Fidget because he's up front a lot. He'll be up front doing battle. And we can drop the heavy, the heavy splint mail. That gets Lug Lug's movement back up. The, the splint mail was knocking me down to a sixth movement because of the encumbrance. The uh, lighter chain mail, it's also magical, has the same kind of protective armor. It gives us the same protective armor, but it weighs a lot less. <coughs> and we'll drop that mace. And we've come across our first magical items. Array. Makes my penis tingle. All right, so Silvery Moon is where we're headed next, eh? What do you say we go slay some trolls first? Come here, trolley troll. It's just one. <laughs> troll is fucked. <laughs> A little late on the prayer, baby. There's really not much to do here except attack trolls to get gold and experience. It's another way to, you know, level and such. Grandfather Clock says it's 11 o'clock in the dark. I'm in the top, my dead in the beat. Got a little pretty baby that's sitting right next to me. I pulled out my fucking longsword. She went down, cause that's what she's looking for. There's a lot of trolls up in here now. All of a sudden, the trolls are here. Oh, but I didn't get the other one? Fuck you! You can't hit my awesome characters. Sixty nine platinum. I mean, you guys can come get some.
That's all she wrote. Upon my scrote. Where do I get paid at? My hundred gold, motherfucker. Did you pay me? Apparently, you gotta go up here. You meet and talk with Longstress's Alarun. She pays you a bounty for the trolls you have killed. Okay, I guess I killed a third of one. How much money we got in this bitch? Oh yeah, 277 platinum. Go put that in the bank, baby. Go ahead and get healed up here, get our spells back, and I think it's time we head to Silvery Mean. So we're going to head back to the boat rentals, I guess. Uh, I'm seeing if they have a bank here. I don't know if they do. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's some other trouble over here we can check out. Crack and attack! Pretty much cleaned out the whole town at this point. We need to jump in a boat and follow it east. You shove off from the dock and prepare to set out on the river. Don't abandon the boat. You stop for a moment on a gently sloping riverbank. Suddenly you are attacked by Aunt Kegs. Okay. Cannot see them yet. Not see them here either. There we go. Well, they can spit acid. That's the bad thing. There we go. Let them get a little closer. Now we see you. You know, this level, our magic missiles do pretty decent, so. Yeah. 
We can no longer see him. Where is he? See, they won't show up on the target unless you can actually see them. There he goes. He is hidden in the thick of the woods there. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move back here and end. Where'd my guys go? Sign painted on the door. Moonbridge Boat Rentals. Special one-way rates. Tavalund, Nesme, Sunderbar, and Yatar. All right. Silvery Moon. How do you do? A brass plate on the wall here is etched with deep bold letters. It says, The Silvery Moon Vault, safe, secure, discreet. It's locked. Later on in the game, we'll be able to go into this uh, basically vault and we'll be able to pull items from Neverwinter, the city of Neverwinter, and Yartar. Right now, the vaults are not linked, but eventually they will be. Which kind of sucks, because I got a few thousand gold back in Yartar. Just chilling there. Helmer's Wall, a tavern, a needy place. Are we coming in here to fight? Let's see what we got here. It's the same pussy bandits, really? Come on. You'd figure as you get to the later cities, there'd be more difficult battles, but it doesn't seem to be the case here, unfortunately. Not that I'm dying to have XP. Um, we're going to get plenty. We're definitely going to cap, obviously. So it's, it's, good to, it's good to have a little bit of XP coming in and Kind of takes away from the game when you max out too early. I had no idea. I was just killing hill giants for a couple hours, for crying out loud. Seriously, two, three hours tops. I mean, honestly, a lot of that time uh, consisted of me quitting out and reloading so that I could get max hit points on leveling. That was literally an hour of the fucking game. It was, it was fucking maybe an hour and a half of actual fighting. Not even. So... Yeah, if you want to power level your characters in this game quickly, go put up with Hill Giants right in the beginning. The, the first several battles were kind of rough, but if you micromanage each character and take them down one at a time, honestly, it goes pretty quick. But anyways, here we are. This is an area along the warehouses and piers along the river. Sign, be, uh, sign beside the door says, End of the downstream runs special rates for visitors to the festival of Meleki. We don't need to rest yet. We're just kind of exploring all the areas. I'm going to show you as much of the different areas in each of the cities as possible. A banner hangs over the street here, emblazoned with the words, Six more days until Silvery Moon's Festival of Meleke. Join us every seventh day this month in Meleke's Glade. 
Luglug's found a passage to the east. He bashes that shit open easy as fuck, too. Secret door gives way and you find yourself in a dark, damp, smelling corridor. It's a fight! It's a fight. A fight. A green skin and a white. Oh boy, you poor orcs. You poor hit po you four hit point having motherfuckers. You should be fired for missing a Nork. As you enter the room, you hear a man shouting at someone, calling out every insult you've ever heard, and some you haven't. You turn to see who it is, trying to torment. Torment. And then you realize the fucking troll. It's two trolls. They're mean little buttholes, too. We got something trolls like Fireball! You guys ain't got a chance in hell. Hmm, we got some jewelry finally. You can still hear the man yelling insults, but he is nowhere in the room. Because he's in this room. You find the shouting man chained to the wall in this tiny room and release him. You record what he tells you in Journal 28. He looks pissed off. Don't you stand there? Emilio, Amenitas, the brilliant magic user for whom I work, is in great danger. They said they were taking him up the river to Evelund, and from there overland to Lower Koth, and off to the Zintil Keep. They were furious that they discovered their plan, and there's no telling what they'll do to him once he's there. If we don't find him before they leave Evelund, we'll never have a chance. There are so many routes they could take toward Lower Koth. We'd have to find him quickly. Eric says, You're a scrawny bunch of weaklings and you're not very bright. And to rescue Amenatus, you'll need my help. Of course we'll take you, you loudmouth bantering bullock. Eric! Eric the Great! Now we can share our XP with even more fucking people, but who cares? Because we're level capping like a sons of bitch. What do we got here now? Oh, another fucking fighter. And what's up with his miniature? It's, it's a little black shadow demon. Level 3 fighter. Well, at least he's got some strength, unlike Curvish, who has 13 strength. His dex and his cons suck banded male balls, but whatever, we'll take it. Um, yeah. Okay. He's also human. Guys, he looks like a total fucking dwarf. And the other guy looks like a, a gnome. What the fuck? That is not... <laughs> Anyways. Everybody's human here in this game. Alright, well we need to work on his hit points. Because they suck ass. He's what level? Level 3? And he's got, well, I guess that's not too bad, because his constitution isn't really helping. So he's only like six hit points short of his max, I guess. 
But we'll make sure he gets a D10 next time. Speaking of next time, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We'll continue adventuring through Silvery Moon in the next video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.